up, my poker peeps? It's the Hatter. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about revenge poker. This is when all them theories and GTO, you throw all that out the window, y'all. I'm a rec player. I play revenge poker sometimes. I'm going to introduce, introduce y'all to the guru. When I first met the guru, I'm going to be honest with y'all, he rubbed me the wrong way. But the more that I got to know him, I actually like the guru. If you see this, guru, you know who you are. Shout out to you, man. You're really a cool cat. I'm... That, that's why I try to give everybody a second, third chance. Because the first time, he kind of rubbed me the wrong way. But now, I figured out he's a really cool dude. But anyways, we're back to revenge poker. So, he does stack me a few times. And like I said, when he first rubbed me wrong, I was like, man, I got to get this dude. So now, I'm all out to get him. So let's jump right into the hand. We're playing 50 NL because, you know, that's my stake pretty much. So, under the gun folds, low jack fold, high jack fold. Comes over to us. We got six, eight suited, suited gaffers in the cutoff. I'm going to go ahead and open them up. They look almost like Ace King to me right now. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up to 4X, a little bigger, because I know the Guru is going to jump in there because he wants to stack me. Button folds. Of course, the Guru jumps in, and a big line folds. So this is sort of how I figured it would play out when it folded to me. It's me versus the Guru. We are playing revenge poker against each other. We're taking it personal, y'all. All right. So the flop comes. Two of hearts, three of hearts, two of spades. This is actually a pretty good flop. We flopped the flush draw. About the best we could hope for without hitting straights or two pairs. Now the Guru, he's going to go ahead and jump it out for three. Yeah, you ain't getting me off this hand, Guru. So I'm going to go ahead and call. And we go to a turn of four diamonds. And at this point, he's got 25 back. I got 35. I got him covered. And there's 10 in the pot. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, I just ain't folding. I got to see the river. Hopefully he don't jam. But if he jams, I'm still calling because, like I said, it's revenge poker. I got to beat the Guru. So the Guru is going to go ahead and pot it. It's actually a pretty good bet here by him because it definitely puts me in a bad situation. But like I said, this is revenge poker. All that theory, pot odds, all that stuff, chunk that out the window, y'all. We ain't rolling like that. This is about revenge. So we go ahead and call, and bink, there it is. Queen of hearts. Thank goodness we got there because I would have looked like a real dummy against the Guru. So he's going to go ahead and rip it in, and guess what, Guru? I done chased you down because that's your thing. You love to chase. And you caught me a bunch of times chasing stuff. So now I'm going to hit you with a revenge, buddy. I go ahead and call it off. And as you can see, he had pocket sevens. So I really like what he did there. Just any other time, he would have got me off of it. But we're playing revenge poker. So that's how revenge poker works. All theory, all pot odds, oh, kind of out the window there. We're just playing after a player. So shout out to you again, Guru. And I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hat her out, y'all.